Go get it. Guys, it's a new day. It's a new video. I am so happy to announce we are going to start this gas to electric go-kart conversion. I've been waiting so long to get started on this build. Now, if you're wondering why this is called episode 4 of the very fast go-kart build, that's because if you go back to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Just kidding. Well, you could. Please do. If you go look at my videos, there's an episode 1, 2, and 3 already out there. And it's basically me getting a Power Wheels FJ, the little kid's toy. And I get an eBay motor, and I get a couple 12-volt batteries. I put the whole thing together, and I made a little go-kart that did 21 miles an hour. The reason why I did all that was just to get a basic knowledge on how this electric stuff works. Because I'm no electrical engineer. I really don't know that much about this stuff, but after doing that experiment with the power wheels, I have a basic knowledge now of how to move forwards and just put that on a grand scale and make a very high powered electric go-kart. So that's what you're going to see in this episode. So let's go get the gas go-kart. Let's go bring it to the testing grounds and let's do a couple passes with it so we know how fast the gas go-kart goes before we turn it into a full electric monster. So enjoy guys. Say see you later. Good boy. We have the go-kart in its gas form still. I figure now is a good time to tell you guys a little bit about this thing before uh, I rip the motor off and we do the electric conversion. All right, so the go-kart is a road rat. I kid you not, that's the name of this thing. Type it in on Google. It's like a Chinese go-kart that costs 1500 maybe 1800 dollars it comes the way it is right now it comes with a chinese lifting 6.5 horse it's like a clone of the hondas electric start gas engine um the battery is dead on it so the electric start doesn't work that's pretty ironic because we're gonna do an electric conversion on it and just funny that the battery is dead so we're gonna have to pull start it for now but I figured let's do some top speed runs with it and we'll see how fast the thing goes before we do the electric conversion. At least this way we have a benchmark of before and after. Let's see what it does. This part of the gas motors. Almost. Come on. Maybe no choke. Oh. Alright, looks like we got it going. Give it a second to warm up. Let's throw a helmet on. Alright, so all I'm gonna do is just go uh back and forth to just warm it up a little bit. Alright guys, so this is going to be pass number one from a dead stop. Let's see how fast it goes and let's get a rough idea about how far it takes. I'm going to start even with this building and let's do it. Three, two, one. The acceleration sucks with the gas motor. But here we go. Watch the speedometer. That pretty much took the whole block. Let's go back and do a second pass. Alright, so it's going to be pass number two. We're at the same starting spot. We're just going to go back down to the end of the block. Keep an eye on the GPS. And three, two, one. Make one more pass. So the third pass. 
All right, so it's gonna be the last run. This is run number three. The motor's nice and hot. That operating temperature. This is gonna be the important one. We're at the same start spot. We're gonna go to the end of the block. Keep an eye on the miles per hour. And uh, this is it for the gas motor. After this, it's gonna be fully electric. So ready, three, two, one. guys so we're back at the house we just tested the go-kart in its gas form and it didn't do so good but it did do like 35 miles an hour since there's not that much time in the day as I enjoy this burger I'm gonna kind of explain to you guys how we're gonna move forwards with this electric go-kart you gotta move you can't be over here so back to what the game plan was what I want to do is get the go-kart, take the gas motor off of it, and bring it down to the basement. So to take the gas motor off... Are you kidding me? To take that motor off is pretty easy because there's four bolts. You just got to take all these four off and undo the chain and maybe the throttle cable, but that's about it. Now we can take the entire frame down to the basement, which is not that easy. It's gonna be a struggle, especially because I'm doing it all by myself. Max, you're interrupting again. This time you're on the other side. Still making noises though. Now it's hard because I'm doing these things on the weekend, so I only have like two days to do the whole build. And no, let's just do it. I gave up, I gave in. So let's go downstairs, check out the go-kart, try to figure out mounting bracket. Let's wire up all the electrics and let's just get this build going. All right, so now that the car's in the basement, this is gonna be our workshop for the next couple days. Here's all the goodies that are gonna power this thing. Everything on this table, except for the battery, came from this company, Thunderstruck Motors. Their website is thunderstruck-ev.com. But that's not that important, because they didn't give me this for free, I had to buy it. <laughs> so, I got from them an E-Tech motor, which is made by Briggs & Stratus. It's six horse continuous, 15 horsepower peak that means we can pump a lot of power to this thing and make a lot of power out of it eventually Two useless cables. We're gonna have to make a whole bunch more. I got the tool to crimp it An all track speed control, which is 48 volts 300 amp peak It should do the job as far as pushing power to this thing Here's a variable throttle your main contactor, which is just a really big relay a diode and a resistor and a fuse that's the stuff from thunderstruck thank you guys this is the battery we're going to use on it now this is an ebay battery i bought it one of them because i kind of want to take it apart and make sure i had everything i needed in it before i buy another one because they're not that cheap but for what it is it is cheap so took it apart it looks like it's got chinese 18650 cells in here which i'm happy with and it's got a bms it's in there that was the one thing i was wondering the most if it had a bms so i'm going to tape this thing back up and shrink wrap it and this is only one of them this is 48 volt 50 amp hour i'm going to get a second one so i'm going to have around 100 amp hours 
which I think should be enough for this thing. But if it's not, I'm gonna get a third one and run them in parallel and just have 150 amp hour to it. But we'll see. So let's just clear the table off and look at the instructions that they give you with this stuff. So that's the owner's manual for the all track speed control. We'll come back to that. This is them telling you how you're building this all by yourself and uh, they're not responsible for anything and they're giving you some suggestions about gearing and chains and all that stuff like that. Nothing really that important. They're telling you to use a BMS if you're using lithium battery, which I kind of hope it's obvious for a lot of people. But let's get into the whole wiring and schematics. So after doing my best and coloring it all in the lines, I have a good idea of how this whole thing works. Well, this is a little complicated for most people to understand. So I made a pretty simple version one on the back page. Here we got a battery, we got our motor, we got our speed computer controller, and the foot thing that accelerates it. And we're just gonna put everything to that and that's how it's all gonna work. So, before we get to mounting the motor onto here or anything, let's just hook up all the electronics like this and uh, just bench test it all and make sure it all works before we get into modifying everything and building the actual go-kart. So that should be pretty easy and it should look kind of like this. So I follow the instructions down to the T. I mean, just look at this. Does that not look the same or what? So I guess let's power it up and see if this motor works and if I wired it all right. This pink wire right here, or red wire I should say, is eventually gonna be my on off switch. But for now, we're just gonna go to the main power of the battery. Now when I connect this to the main contactor, it should power up it and it should power up the computer. So we're gonna hear a click. When we hear a click, that means it's good to go. So that was the click. That thing is on green. I think we're ready to give it a test. So here's the throttle. I'm not really too sure how this motor is gonna act when I give throttle. All right, so this thing is torquey and I think it's gonna work. So we're gonna have to go really slow with the throttle just cause of how much torque it has and I have nothing holding the motor. So uh, let's just, if you want keep an eye on the throttle, we're gonna go real slow. Watch how uh, fast it goes. Or we'll see how fast it goes. So here we go. Getting into it. We're about at a quarter throttle. This thing sounds crazy. Oh my god. Holy cow. Alright guys. Wow. We're about halfway. This motor sounds out of control. Alright, we're at half throttle. Let's keep going. Oh my god! Holy cow! We're not even full throttle yet! Oh, we're full throttle! We are at full throttle now! This thing is crazy! We're backing off. Wow. All right, let's just do one more pass of the little faster. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Guys, this thing sounds ridiculous. I think this is going to be plenty of power for what we needed for on that go-kart. Let's disarm this whole system, turn the key off. So guys, this is a huge step forwards on this build. I think I'm gonna end the video here only because the next step is gonna be making the mounting plate for this motor to go into this spot. And to tell the truth, that's gonna take a while. What I'm gonna do is Instead of putting a steel plate on this permanent magnet motor, because I, I just, I'm not a fan of the magnets and a steel plate as a mounting bracket, I'm going to use this quarter inch thick aluminum plate. I'm going to have to cut this, make the mounting holes for it, and then we're going to take this whole setup. I'm going to put a steel plate down here, 
but have it bolt to the aluminum plate and then put steel angle lines as reinforcement. So this is going to take a lot of time to build. I'm going to record it all. It's all going to be in next week's episode. So guys, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you want to see this thing become completed and you want to see this go-kart do somewhere in the 45, maybe 50 mile an hour mark, you guys got to like and you got to subscribe to this channel so I can keep making these things. So please do that and stick around because next week is going to be episode 5 of this very fast go-kart build and hopefully we're going to have this motor mounted to this plate, mounted to the frame, and we're just going to keep building this thing until it's finished. So stick around, guys. Thank you for watching. See you later.